In his address, Werikwa emphasized the importance of farmers to move away from traditional ways of farming and focus on diversification to avoid the repeated losses encountered during the previous years of devastating drought. Last year already you all realized that drought have really hit this country very badly. As you might be aware already, we are in that tropical zone, being a semi-arid state, where we receive our rain is actually in between average to below average compared to other countries. And as a result, there is a need for us to specialize and of course focus on diversification. The governor also stated that if the process of diversification in agriculture is taken wisely, it can assist with job creation for locals. Secretary of Farmers Association, Jackson Hijo, informed the governor that crop production and turning bushes into fodder for livestock are some of the proposal in the farmers' five-year strategic plan. In addition, Hinjo says the association in partnership with the Odonai Conservancy are looking into establishing bush feed programs. There is a project that we are, that together with the local conservancy, Odonai Conservancy, also operating in the same area as Kakarara Farmers Association, that we have submitted to the Environmental Investment Fund. Uh, from the recent inquiry, it's still at the assessment stage, uh, where once it's approved, we want to tap into bush feed with the conservancy and the association, see that, you know, how can we reduce a bush encouragement in our area and how can we turn that bush into an opportunity so that we are creating our own feed. He, however, says securing funding to ensure many farmers partake in the training of turning bush into livestock water might be a challenge. Kariye Kawari, NBC News, Oshiwarongo.